Today we are connecting with uh, Dr. Christopher De Guara in Nashar because he started up a new facility under the patronage of His Excellency the President of Malta, Dr. George Vella. And he's going to tell us more about it. Good evening, good evening, Dr. De Guara. How are you? Good evening, Leah. I'm oh, fine. I'd like to take the opportunity to wish you a happy Mother's Day to all your viewers and listeners. Thank you very much. Thank you. I wish the same to your wife and, uh, and your mother, too. Thank you. Um, I, I did not say that you're also Deputy Mayor of Nashar. Um, within your role as mayor, before we proceed on to speaking about the new service, how has COVID-19 been uh, accepted by uh, people who live there, by the public? Well, I think the uh, public really uh, did well in the sense that it followed most uh, of the public health uh, organizations' uh, information which were dished out. Uh, from our point of view as a council, both the mayor and myself and all our colleagues, uh, we did a group of uh, video clips to help uh, put the awareness uh, on board to all the residents of Nashar. Uh, we also kept them up to date by updating our site, the Nashar Local Council site, on uh, briefs and updates which were given and forwarded to us by the Public Health Department. But otherwise, on the whole, uh, I have to say that most residents were compliant with, uh, with the law, really and truly, so we had no real problems. Um, can I also ask, uh, before we move on, within your area, your location, have there been requests uh, for, for food banks, um, people who are perhaps um, going through hard times? Uh, in fact, we were in communication with uh, Her Excellency uh, Marie-Louise Colero Preca and uh, she set up a food bank distribution system and we as national local councillors helped out by distributing foods to those in need in the locality and vicinity of Nashar. Very well serviced in your locality, which is very good. Um, I'd like to speak about the new service, um, which people can find online under doctor.mt. Is that correct? Yes, it's correct. So That's we basically started off by a casual meeting between me and Tony Kassar, who's the owner and CEO of Cyberspace, which is a company which works in IT where we decided to set up a platform to help residents uh, of the Maltese Islands, really and truly anyone who lives in Malta and has a Maltese uh, mobile number and must have WhatsApp available on their mobile phone. So basically, uh, the service is totally free, where they just log in to www.doctor.md. They will set up a registration, which is just a two-step two registration, and then they can send what is known as a ticket, so a request, where they either ask advice and the doctors can actually either respond via email or else they can call via WhatsApp, either as a normal audio call or as a video consultation. So basically this platform is a video consultation uh, platform to offer a free service to all the residents of uh, Malta and Gozo. It is important um, that such, uh, such a platform was able um, to, to be available locally thanks to our sponsors, uh, which believed in our project and obviously backed us up. And obviously by a dedicated group of doctors who are 24-7 uh, on the system. Uh, the system is a 24-7 system. However, our uh, medical consultants and specialists will reply between 8.30 in the morning to later in the evening. So that is the area where people can send requests, but then they can get a reply in that time. Okay. Just uh, some uh, questions. Um, this service is obviously um, for routine, routine questions. It's not for emergencies. No, obviously. Uh, we are offering a platform, whereas instead of going to your own uh, general practitioner, because some of them, uh, due to lockdown and age, couldn't uh, offer a service. Uh, others maybe had their clinics closed down. So this is just a free service instead of going to your general practitioner. If you need be or if uh, the financial crisis has taken a cut on you, 
you have the same service, but it is totally free. It is available for everyone, but we would like to tell people uh, to use it wisely, so not to waste resources, and we just use it for those people who really need it. Uh, but anyone can ask any medical-related question. Uh, obviously, it is not for emergencies. No, I mean, emergencies, then there is the normal uh, one one to helpline together with uh, any other helplines which government has uh, dished out throughout uh, the COVID pandemic. One, uh, one other question. There are um, certain people who do not have the internet facility. Uh, quite a lot of the elderly people um, don't use uh, apps, have very simple telephones um, that don't allow apps on their telephones. Um, is there a way that you can service this section of the population too? Yes, we currently are sectioning that service by uh, the ticket can be created by a close relative. So the ticket can be created by their son or daughter or a carer who lives with them and who has WhatsApp. Uh, once the call is called back, obviously the audio call can be done directly to the uh, patient himself. However, yes, you do need uh, WhatsApp. But we've had several requests. Listen, I'm the daughter of Mrs. So-and-so and I'd like to ask certain questions for my mother. What usually happens, we tell them to send us, let's say, a picture of what the problem is, or we actually go and do a dial-up consultation, either a video or an audio, depends on the case, and we'll tackle it up from there. You can extend the service eventually to people who are elderly people who do not have a phone with apps and live very independently. So probably it's something they wouldn't like to share with their family. Now, in those cases, those who do not wish to uh, well, discuss any medical condition in front of their relatives, but they do not have uh, WhatsApp installed, then unfortunately the platform does not work because it's totally working through a WhatsApp system. So in those cases, like any telemedical service communications and platforms available locally, you do need to have one of the smartphones available, either be it WhatsApp, be it Skype, be it uh, uh, Teams. So you need to have one of these available. It, uh, as a brilliant service, for, especially for young families with young children uh, who don't want to take their children to clinics because of the social distancing. Can we, um, since you are a family doctor, can we address um, some questions that the viewers have sent? Um, some children are lapsing vaccinations, just the normal routine vaccinations, but are very reluctant to go to um, clinics or to call a doctor. Um, what is your advice about this, Dr. De Guara? Well, even the public health services have now issued that normal vaccinations will be starting back. Um, we are very lucky that locally we have kept uh, our rates very low. And therefore, if people and most clinics, I would say, are, are abiding by the laws and taking social distancing, using masks and whatnot, then obviously uh, they can continue as normal. Vaccines are a very important part uh, of our daily routines, and it is important because they have proven to have massive and major effects. So what I suggest from here is that anyone who requires uh, vaccines or who requires something which is urgent, then yes, he needs to seek medical advice. Anyone who has, let's say, an ongoing condition but just requires a general checkup can wait. And that is basically the advice we are giving everyone. Okay, so to close, thank you very much uh, for joining us today, Dr. De Guerra. To close, can we give the details of where people will find um, the, the service, your new service? So our platform will be found at www.doctor.mt. That's my date. Thank you very much, Dr. Deguara. Thank you. I wish you a very good evening. Thank you. Um, I was with uh, Dr. Christopher Deguara, who's uh, Deputy Mayor of Nashar, and he's also a family doctor. And I hope you'll be able to locate um, this new facility, which is free of charge, doctor.mt. Thank you very much for being with me today. I hope you have a lovely evening. I'll see you tomorrow at an earlier time of 5.40. I'm Leah Hogg for Net News. Good evening.